Stand by, everybody. My dream, my ultimate dream, would be to have my own recording studio. But I would love to work in a recording studio. I was born almost three months premature. My birth date was supposed to be June 15th, which would have been nice, but I was born March 25th. And it was because of uh, retinopathy prematurity. I was just under two pounds at birth. It left me totally blind, so I have been blind since birth. I've always grown up with a love of music, always loved listening to music, and I've loved playing music ever since I was given my first Casio keyboard at the ripe old age of four. And I picked up, you know, instrument after instrument, you know, since then. And as I grew into my teens, I started to get interest for recording audio. Audio real good, got her? Yeah. When I got out of high school, I went to a college for sound and music recording, which was a years long program. When I got out of there, I needed some work experience to polish up the resume. So my former vision teacher in high school told me about the Rogers Volunteer Program. One and Q Jack. Hi everybody, welcome to Dave Time York Region. The date is Monday, March. Well, when I first started, I thought that I wouldn't be doing anything. I thought that it would be purely shadow-based because I was going into a whole different world. I'd never done television before. After I got orientated with the board, I was working alongside another one of our volunteers. My first day on the, on the job and I'm sharing the board filming a real estate show. It worked out really well. The first day I wrote down, because this board has 24 channels of audio output. First eight channels are microphones. All of them are microphones. Host microphones are the first two for guests and two hardwire microphones for the couch. You've got CD, you've got DVD, and you have three different videotape recorder designations. You have blue, you have green, and you have yellow. Ah, yes, we got them. Yeah. We got the guest. Good, good, thank you. So you've in essence memorized this entire board. Well, I wouldn't say the entire board. Roll yellow. All of the features that we use I memorized, and uh, when you memorize things like that, it makes it easy to teach other people. I could teach you by the end of, uh, in about an hour. I, I kind of have the nickname Coach. <laughs> I got two mics up. Before the beginning of the show, of every show that we tape, I collect the list of microphones in accordance to the number of guests we will be having on our show. This way, before the show even goes on, we will know when to bring the designated mic up for whoever's on. Yeah. And this one is really but easy because it's just one person, it's just two the people, summer. two mics. Um, okay. You volunteer at Rogers TV, first of all, and most important of all the experience that you get. You may know how to do something, but if you don't have real world job experience, you get real world experience both in studio and out on mobiles. What I love most of all is I get to do what I love. When you get out of college, you get out of university, or even when you just start out in a career you love to do, you don't always get to start doing what you love right away. With the volunteer program at Rogers, you get to do what you love, whether you work in cameras, whether you're interested in, in video, in graphics, in post-production, in audio, uh, and both end in the studio and on location. It's a very inviting place, it's a very flexible place, and the experience is just invaluable. Three, two, one, and down. I'll just type something very simple. My name is Jeff Rainey and I do audio for Rogers TV in Richmond Hill.